This is why we're here. <laughs> For the people who know, you know. What are your expectations from this trip? Well, you know, the weather is, is challenging. I'm sure we have to adapt to uh, crazy conditions, but there's lots of snow and uh, it's just so beautiful out here. This is episode 10 of Hidden Faces, and therefore we want to do something special. So we headed over to Iceland. We both believe that the north of Iceland has good potential in finding big lines, something that Iceland is not known for but we want to find out what these mountains have to offer. Do you see what I see? <laughs> so here we are, Iceland. We're driving up north, all the way via the west coast, and we're just driving into the unknown. No idea what we're gonna find. Of course, we uh, did a little bit of research, but it's all new here. <laughs> so I'm super excited for uh, what's gonna come. Holy shit. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, so we're just driving. I, I want to ski that. This is why we're here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one you sent already via WhatsApp? No, 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 but it, this is exactly a zone where I thought this could be this good. This could be it. And then I, I was actually looking at more that that face yeah oh, you know, oh yeah because I, I think there's more clue ours even should i send a drone up to see yeah yeah right yeah definitely yeah yeah because i think we, we both want to do this <laughs> yes for I sure want to be prepared as, as yeah we, because i think we um yeah. have to get up very early morning in the dark probably yeah so it's really nice to know where where we're going but the weather is bad i can't see much all right, but okay. This is definitely our first, our first mission, I would say, right? Yeah. Or our first objective. So after seeing this beautiful couloir, we continued driving to our home for the next ten days. The next morning, we had a phone call with David, who works as a ski patroller and has been living here for eight years. It's nice to get some inside information about the couloir, and maybe he knows some other interesting faces. Cool man, thanks a lot. Okay, okay, bye bye. And? Yeah. He said uh, the couloir has a name, something Icelandic, which is impossible to write down. The cornice at the top is probably not gonna be a problem, but because it's such a deep crack, there's cornices from the, from the side hanging. Uh, which is pretty new for me, but that's, uh, he said that's actually a danger for this, uh, for this couloir. Um, but he was optimistic and uh, we're gonna meet him tonight in the bar and then he's gonna tell way more and also maybe point out some, some other lines that we can do. I have it on my map, I have it marked on my map, the mountain, so I don't... This myself, but I've seen this here. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 If you look at the corner on summer, there's some water. What time is it? It's um, 6 o'clock. So it's now 7 o'clock. Uh, the original plan was to wake up at 4. We did. Uh, and check the weather forecast and then it said that the sun there's a bigger chance that the sun will come out later in the day, so we decided to sleep for two more hours, start our day at seven. Yeah. Okay, so what's, what do you think is the best way to cross the river? I don't know, I think the river looks really wide over there, but um, I think we just have to try. Yeah. And uh, see if it goes, otherwise go to the left. If we don't make it, we have to 
I'm going to the bridge all the way back. Yeah. For the light time. Now, of course, we like the shortcuts. <laughs> Pretty thick. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Solid. <laughs> Looks good, huh? Eh? Yeah, it's getting better and better. How close we get? I, I it was like love on first sight when we drove here. It literally was. Yeah. So the plan is we keep our skins on as long as possible. And then when it's getting too steep or too narrow, we just root pack. I'm very, very lucky. It's amazing. So it bumped, I bumped into this rock here and then it rolled down and you ran to catch it. I think, and it looks like... I think we saved it. I think it's okay. Yeah. Should I try? So we are now deciding, we have two options. Or we go for the left couloir or the right one. The left one, it's already fully in the shade. So in terms of image and the sun, I think the right one is maybe better to do first, right? Yeah, definitely. And if it catches a lot of sun, it's also safer to do this first. Yeah. So uh, let's go for the right one, Yeah. <laughs> which we didn't plan actually. We wanted to do the like more the crack. Only the left one, yeah. And now we're thinking about like doing both, like both couloirs, fuck it. This one is definitely getting a little bit steeper. Oh, look at this. It's pretty nice. What do you think? <laughs> this is unbelievable. So beautiful. Yeah. God, like, <laughs> words for it. Uh, I can't believe it. Over here as well. You okay there? Yeah. <laughs> Put the drone somewhere. <laughs> So the first part, yeah, you have, you, you've seen it. It's fully ice yes, on, on yeah, skiers. Side slip. Yeah, yeah, take it easy. Yeah, yeah go for it. Yeah. Full on ice. Okay.
Okay, now on to the next one. One down and one to go. <laughs> <laughs> For the people who know, you know. Uh, but yeah, so one, we did number one, and now we're on to the next one. Let's go. So what do you think of this one? Yes. <laughs> Another beautiful couloir. Yes. It's a bit, uh, I thought this one was less steep, but it's still, yeah, it's still pretty intense. Yeah, this part is pretty steep. But the snow, I think, yeah. like for Iceland, it doesn't get much better than this, I think. It's powder. Yeah, <laughs> powder Iceland. Doing two couloirs in one day. Whew. Really exhausting. There's Paul. Taking a break. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We did it. <laughs> top. Number two. I am broken. <laughs> to do two runs like this in one day yeah. is super satisfying. It's super satisfying. <laughs> I think this might be one of my best ski days ever. We never expected to ski stuff like this in Iceland and we are totally blown away by the terrain here. But there's definitely more to discover. See you on the next one.